Hi there, this is Daniel from Relaunch and I want to show you our new plugin, the WooCommerce Quote Request and Negotiation plugin. So our plugin is basically something you might know from other stores. It can request a quote and also do a price negotiation. What makes our plugin a bit different is that our plugin is very much integrated into the WooCommerce system itself. So each negotiation request and also the price negotiation is directly managed inside the WooCommerce order. That means the customer can not only create quote requests directly from your shop system, he can also see all managed um, quote requests he has sent before, negotiate directly on your shop system and directly pay when you say you have approved a quote. This is very unique. Uh, many other plugins you might know only give you the possibility to send an email and then you have to take care about that email conversation that goes forth and back. But our plugin, as I said, is tied very much into the WooCommerce com system itself. So enough talking. Uh, let me show you how it works. So basically I'm currently logged in as a customer and I want to buy some t-shirts. So we can click this button, add to quote card, uh, that can be changed and you would see the product has been added to your cart. So as a customer I can view the cart and I will see it costs $18 and maybe I want to buy some more, let me buy five. Then you would see a subtotal of $19 is displayed. Now I can proceed to the checkout and of course on the left here you have all the billing details so your private stuff that you might know from the normal WooCommerce checkout but on the right you will see a new payment method. So first we have a direct bank transfer. That means customers can still buy the product. But on the second one, you can see a quote request. And this is our plugin. So the quote request, you can change of course all text here, will give you a hint what has to be dropped and you can see it in message field. It says looking for a custom quote, please drop us a note about your favorite price and we will contact you as soon as possible. I, as a customer, now do not want to buy $90, I want to buy it for $18 maybe. So I write, I would like to have this for a total of $80. And then the customer can send a quote request. So I click on request quote. After that has been done, it's the regular checkout process you will see that I, as an admin, will get, or as a shop owner, will get an email notification. But you will also see that the customer gets this thanks for your quote request. We will check it as soon as possible and come back to you. What I do now, I log into as a shop manager into our system and I can go into the order section. So in the order section of WooCommerce, you will see here now a new quote. As I said, you will also get an email of this. The status of this quote request is on hold. So it is not approved and also not declined. When you open that order quote, you will see all the details, just like a regular order. You would see what he wanted to buy and you will also see this in order notes that he would like to have it for a total of $80. Maybe I as a shop owner think that is very good. So I can now go in and say, okay, that customer will get it for $80. So I can change it like here and save. Or what I can also do is I could add some items here and maybe I add a fee or I add products or shipping or whatever. And that is very good because this is the only way and a standard way that you are able to change the price directly in your WooCommerce system. So you now see he has a coupon, as it says, and the total price is $80 now. So we want to inform the customer and we will send a note to a customer. We have approved that quote. Thank, thank you. Quote request. Thank you very much. And we can add a quote note here. This is what the customer now gets. He gets a message about this and then he can log into the system again. I will jump directly into the customer view in a few seconds, but before that I want to show you two other things. 
So as a shop owner, I can also directly accept a quote here or approve it directly, or I can decline a quote request from here. When you decline a quote request, it will set to uh, cancelled the order request. And when you approve it, it will be set to pending payment. When you do that, the customer will get an email notification with an approved quote email. And there he has a pay now button that he can click to pay the order directly. But we want to do that as a customer right now. So we go back into the customer view. In the customer view, you would see a point in my quote account and you would see orders and quotes. When you go into orders and quotes, this is the standard orders overview as you might see it, but it is a bit modified. You would see quote number, uh, the on hold status and also the total, it is now 80. But you will also see it's a type quote and you have a discount of $10 now. The actions you can do is you can view it, you can accept it, you can negotiate the quote or decline the quote as a customer. If we want to negotiate a bit more, maybe we want some other prices, then you can click on negotiate quote. And you might already know this is the standard way that WooCommerce displays single orders. But you see here that you can accept the quote on decline the quote. But you can also do some quote negotiation. We can see that we launched, so we as a shop owner have approved that quote request. And we can also see our custom note. I would like to have this for a total of 80, for example. If I want to reply, for example, here now, I can say, thank you very much. We approve it now. And I can send that message here. So you would see, thank you very much. We approve it now. And then as a customer, I can accept that quote. So I click on accept quote, and you will see the status of that order is now an order so not a quote anymore. And you will also see the status of a pending payment. In addition to this, as I said, the customer will get an email. And in that email, he has a link to pay that quote or that order now. But he can also pay it from here. So we'll see here in actions, there's no longer approve or negotiate or decline a quote. But here is now a pay quote or pay order button. So we click on pay. And then you will see you do not have the standard quote request payment method anymore. That is disabled, of course, because we want to buy it. But you will see that you have the direct payment, direct bank transfer payment method. And you see also $10 discount, total price before, and the total end price. So we can pay for that order. And that was it. You just completed a new order based on a previous quote request. I uh, hope you could, this was clear and if you have any questions then you can do that of course in the comments section here on YouTube. Um, in addition or at the last point I would like to point out that this is a very unique feature and very tightly based on the normal WooCommerce standard process. So it works with all different aspects when you create new custom fields for example in the checkout or when you have tied in an invoice plugin or something like that. It is everything that's working directly. And you do not have to work on email conversations anymore because you can do everything directly in this system. And not only you, but also the customer itself can do it. I hope you like this video and I hope you like the plugin. And if you buy it, we would be more than happy. Thank you very much.